We started in 1926 as a, as a company, and it was mostly infrastructure, steel fabrication, traditional. Uh, eventually got more and more complicated. We got into bridge work and more complex, large structures uh, over the years. And then uh, in, 19, in the mid-70s, we uh, took on the job of uh, building the enclosure for the Canada-France Hawaii telescope. And then that was the first of the, the many telescopes that we built. And this one, of course, culminates that part of our specialization is uh, the 30 meter telescope. And in between those years, between 75 and 2015, we've uh, emerged as being a, a world class manufacturer, designer, and builder of uh, um, media based attractions, uh, roller coasters, flying theaters. We've tended to build things that require a large component of engineering work. When you're building complex structures, installation becomes a challenge, and so we became a design builder installer, turned key provider of uh, complex structures. We did get a call from Disney one day. It just so happened. I mean, it's not like we had foresight or anything. They, uh, uh, David Halliday, the founder of the company uh, Dynamic Structures, got a call from a, another engineer uh, from Disney that uh, used to work on a telescope with David, and he said, "Well, you know, if you can do that telescope, you can do this problem we got down at Epcot. We have this." Uh, GM test tracks not working. The design's not working. So that was the start of our entertainment business back in 19, that would have been uh, uh, 19, uh, 1990. Uh, no, that would have been 2000, sorry, 2000. We've been in this business for 15 years. And then that started to ramp up. In 2007, I bought the company, Empire Industries bought the company, the company I, uh, I'm uh, CEO of as well. And uh, we continue to make product for Disney and Universal, and then we uh, made the, I made the decision to uh, start making our own product, uh, our own amusement rides and our own telescope, or for, uh, not our own telescopes, but our own amusement rides. And that was designing and building to, to fit the market, because Disney and Universal are only 10% of the market, and they tend to design their, have their own thoughts about their rides, uh, whereas the rest of the market don't have that same competency as Disney and Universal have on the design side and the creative side so we started to do that and that's what you, if you walk around here that's what most of the product is is our own product uh, going out in the marketplace so we sell that proactively. One of the biggest skills that, that we have uh, we deploy it's an integration skill like where you're bringing uh, structural mechanical controls all of the, the various elements together to work as a, a complete uh, system in, in its entirety. So the, uh, the interfacing of all of the various elements, the software needed to control uh, the, the vehicles uh, safely, to do what you want them to do when you want them to do it, and to have 99% uh, uptime because, again, uh, we, 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 uh, we learned this from Disney Universal, was that they can't afford to have people waiting in line for three hours and then having the ride go down because <clears throat> the rides are really popular so you really have to focus on a, a level of quality that's uh, unheard of except in the telescope business again for similar reasons you don't want to be running up the mountain uh, uh, fixing things right so you have to think about 40 year life cycles and and uh, you know 99.9% .9 uptime and so it's really that attention to detail on as opposed to just technology the technology that we deploy tends to be innovative technology like what, what you saw next door on the tilt and drop that's an innovative technology it's not like so that's a, that's a feature of a roller coaster we sell that roller coaster that has you know that feature plus this one will, will be the sideways switch so that's this particular product has two features we're selling four feature uh, roller coasters as well like that have two more elements that make this a spectacular ride so it's when you bring all this together it's almost the level of complexity and integration is really the skill set that we have because it's, it's just quite difficult to do. Even for us, it's difficult to do, so there's, there's, there's a lot of trial and error, but uh, in the factory acceptance testing that you do to get it done, and then when it leaves, it's working.